What up, though? My name is Adubi Okoye, and I'm a multidisciplinary creative from Detroit, Michigan. I've painted mural since 2014, and today I'm gonna show you how to paint a mural of your own in your house or apartment. Back in 2014, when I first started painting murals, I had no idea how to paint a mural. Between Google, WikiHow, and talking it over with my friends in art school that we all attended, the mural came out beautifully after a bunch of trial and error, of course. But now, I wanna give those tools and resources to the creative homies coming behind me so they don't have to Google or Ricky Howe how to paint a mural. I'm gonna show you myself, and I hope that it inspires you to do something dope of your own. And here's how you paint a mural. First, you tape off the area you're painting to have minor cleanup when you're finished. Second, you prepare your circles with primer. I chose to use bare paint with primer in it. This helps the paint adhere to the wall and stops the paint from absorbing into the porous surface of the drywall. Next, you need to use some method to get your art on the wall. You can either use a doodle grid, a square grid, a projector, or a completely freehand sketch on the wall. Chalk is the best medium to outline your art. I chose to use a different paint color for this bureau. Then you paint. I use bare house paints from Home Depot with primer in them. I suggest painting the largest areas first. It gives you incentive to move quickly so you can get to the fine details later. After filling the largest areas, I move on to the minor areas and get all of those nice little details I love to paint. Finally, I go back over all the areas with my outlines and pattern work. And after all of that is done, you sign your mural. Every one of my murals has meaning or message embedded into it. And this mural is about family. The chrysanthemums are my birth flower and my daughter's birth flower as well. The daffodil is my wife's birth flower. The magnolias throughout the piece represent purity and nobility, something that we want to embody in our family. And if you look close enough, you can see all of the crosses and pattern work that represent our Christian faith, something that we hold dear and want to impart to our daughter. Thanks for watching. I hope that this inspires you and gives you the information to paint a mural of your own in your house or do something else dope today. Peace.